put some socks on. Well, those. before I even get started on the video, I would like to offer my sincerest apology to Lainey over at Lainey's Life and for disappointing her grandson yesterday because she was supposed to, not I was supposed to, not she was supposed to, but she should have reminded me. <laughs> but anyway, um, I saw it on Facebook and I even uh, emailed Joan over at Joan's Point of Plate to see why it didn't show up on my memories at um, on Facebook that it was Lainey's birthday yesterday, July 3rd. And I, it didn't show up on my memories from Facebook and it didn't show up on my calendar. But then when I look at my calendar from last year, Lainey, you were on there last year. It didn't carry over from with my new phone. So I do apologize, Lainey. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to sing to you today. I'm sure you're celebrating today. Why wouldn't you? It's the whole month of July. You celebrate for the birthday month. Most people have a birthday. Us special people. We have a birth month. <laughs> so, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lainey. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. I am so sorry I missed it. But you know what? I fixed it in my calendar. So next year, for sure, for sure, for sure, I will get you your song. Anybody else that has a birthday coming up in July, remind me just in case it, my things didn't carry over. I'm going to go back and look at my calendar from last year just to check and double check, like Santa Claus, check my list and check it twice. But there's no excuses for that. I'm so sorry, Lainey. Happy birthday, a day late, a dollar short, but it's your birthday. And I forgot your grandson's name. Let me know in the comments below, so I'll give him a special hello too. Talk to you later. Well, I'm gonna talk to you later. Stay tuned, we'll start the day now. Well, hello, today is Sunday, July 4th. Happy 4th of July to everybody in the United States. But um, we do have a birthday today. Today is Kathy Spencer's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday. Fourth of July. You're a Yankee doodle dandy. Yankee doodle do or die. Jim's taping that today. We're going to watch that sometime today with Jimmy Cagney or James Cagney. Um, but we also have an anniversary. Today is my sister-in-law, Barb, and her... Lovey, lovey, lovey hubby, Cortez. It's their anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, hope you have a great anniversary, Barb and Cortez. Um, went for my walk this morning. It wasn't too hot. It's not really too bad. It's supposed to go up to 91 tomorrow, I think, and then 92 on Tuesday, and then another cold front's moving in. But it was a beautiful walk. It's nice to be able to talk to people and not have people shun away from you and think, i got to walk like three feet away from you. So that was nice. Oh, here comes Jim back. We're hooking up the TV outside. Nope. Changed my mind. He changed his mind. Um, anyway, um... But it was a nice walk. It was talked to a couple people. And I got home. I watered my flowers and did some weeding and like thinning out of some of the dead. You know, pinched my flowers. See, like my flowers here, like deadheaded them, deadheaded my flowers. And then um, had breakfast. Let me show you what I had for breakfast. You know, a little heavy on the fruit, but. It's a low point breakfast, that's all that matters to me. Uh, today is Sunday, July 4th. I get 23 smart points. I've used all my weeklies. My quote is, always remember that your focus determines your reality. It's a two point breakfast. Two points for my Aunt Millie's uh, 40, gra 40 calorie toast. Um, my egg, banana, grapefruit, tea, and berries. So it's a two point breakfast. What I did was I smashed up the raspberries on my toast. And then I'm going to have my water. It's my second 34-ounce uh, glass of water. Two-point breakfast. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, I didn't want to use any points for, like, jam or something like that. So I thought, I'm just going to smash up the raspberries and put them on the toast. It was, it was really good. It was better than raspberry jam, really. It really was. So I had that. And then um, 
come out here and I've been reading it a little bit. And just thinking about my week, thinking my week ahead, seeing how I'm going to do. I, um, I, I'm really going to try to focus on possibilities. <laughs> Because I think that that'll be my opportunity to do better. So uh, I think I'm going to try a couple recipes this week. I did go to Kroger, or not Kroger's, I went to Myers, which we know is not my store. I, I'm not a big fan of Myers, But anyway, to get the right burgers. Um, if you get the grocery cart blend, it's nine points. But if you get the brisket chuck blend, it's 12 points. I got the nine point burger. I don't want to waste three points on a burger when I can have like, cause I like the cheese and I like the, uh, um, the bun obviously. And then I just put mustard and some relish and I never really looked to see if relish has got any points, but I don't put that much relish on, but I put a lot of mustard, which I know is zero. So that works out for me. And then we're going to have corn on the cob, which I can eat it just plain. I don't need to put any butter on it. And then I'm probably going to make a side salad and then really thought about lunch too much. It's been a while since I ate breakfast, so I should start thinking about lunch because lunch time is coming up here pretty quickly. But um, my sister was going to come over today, but she started doing lawn work, so she called me and she says, I'm just going to come tomorrow because she has tomorrow off for the holiday. So she's going to come over tomorrow and we'll probably go swimming. It'll be hot enough tomorrow, 91, so we'll be able to go swimming tomorrow. And then um, my daughter-in-law, Cindy, was supposed to come over today, but she wasn't sure. So she said either today or tomorrow. So I don't know. It's, it's later in the afternoon, so I haven't heard from her yet, so I don't think so. My neighbor down the street is putting off the firework display, so um, I'll try to film some of that. It's like, it's like you've gone to a regular fireworks display. <laughs> he really invests a lot of money in it. All the neighbors are planning on it. we got our fire pits going. Kylie and uh, Gary are going to walk over. Denise doesn't like fireworks. And I might put the little fire pit out in front so that uh, the kids can make s'mores. Christy might come by with Sophia. She's working right now. Um, she hasn't decided yet. So I don't know about that. But we're looking forward to that. And then, um, what else was I going to tell you about? Oh, Jimmy put his house up for sale yesterday. So we're hoping it sells quickly at a good price. Because uh, the market here in Michigan is the prices of houses are really high. So he was going to wait till next year because he, his house is going to take him almost a year to build. But uh, he's afraid that the market will come down. He's hoping the market will come down after he sells the house because then the lumber prices will come down and then he can build his house a little bit cheaper. But um, he didn't, he didn't want to miss the opportunity of, of getting top dollar for his house right now. So he's going to just rent someplace in the meantime. So, well, see, I, I told him he could stay here, you know, but they're smokers, and so, you know, they'd have to come outside, which is nice enough that they could come outside in that. And they don't smoke in the house when they come over, so I don't have to worry about that. But I think they might live with Samantha's dad for a while until they find a place and then just put their furniture in storage. I'm thinking that's the plan. But um, other than that, it's like... I know that people have been like putting off, sorry, I dropped something. People have been putting off getting back on track, you know, because it's summertime and it's ice cream and, you know, barbecues and all of that stuff. But this is really the best time to get back on plan. So many fruits and vegetables, all the farmers markets are open. You get fresh vegetables and fresh fruits. And um, you can go to a barbecue and, and still eat properly and not go crazy. You really can. And uh, so. We'll see how that works for me because, well, I don't have, Jim and I will probably barbecue our burgers tonight, but other than that, I don't think, I'm not going to any barbecues. I have a graduation party next Saturday. My nephew Rick's son, Skyler, has his graduation party a week from Saturday. And that's about it for July. I don't have uh, any major plans other than that. So perfect month to get back on track. The opportunity is there for me to really get on track. I, I really didn't go crazy on um, Friday. I had um, my ice cream cone. I had that and then we had um, the breakfast and then I had a little tiny little tiny little tiny little piece of fudge. Just like a taste when we were in the fudge shop because they gave a little taste. So I took a taste of some fudge. Jim bought some um, 
coconut, some kind of coconut fudge. And then I, Denise, my sister Denise had given me money to um, buy fudge for Gary. It was expensive. It was like nine dollars for like this little slab that was probably about that big, nine dollars and about that thick. I don't even think it was a half a pound, if that, nine dollars. So it'd been like twenty dollars a pound. I'm like, Ooh, I love fudge, but I'm too cheap to pay too much more than. That's why at Christmas time I like to make my fantasy fudge. My fantasy fudge is still six points for a piece, but uh, it's way cheaper. I can make a whole big batch for probably five or six bucks. Maybe t even if it was ten, I can make enough for everybody. <laughs> Pass it out, and, but it's not as good obviously as the regular if you go to Mackinac Island their fudge is by far the best but Frankenmuth's fudge is pretty good too the the franchise that's in Mackinac they, they also have a, a store in Frankenmuth it was closed I don't know why it wasn't open so we went to the Frankenmuth fudge shop which still had good fudge the, the little taste I had it was just enough just enough and then uh, I don't know if it was just all the walking or what but the breakfast was more than enough I had and I ordered I always order a full order and I thought no I'm gonna just order a half order I think next from now on when I go there I'm gonna just order a half order because really it was filling but when I get the full order I eat it because it's on my plate and uh, a full order I think is five pancakes which is a lot of pancakes but you've seen my food trays you know I can consume mass quantities of food so that's not gonna hold me back at all but the three, the three pieces, the three pieces of pancakes, I put a little bit of syrup. I'm not. I I I like my sugar-free syrup, and I should have asked for some sugar-free syrup, but I never even thought about it because they do have that. But um, I'm not a really big syrup eater, so you know, a little bit of syrup I put on it. I probably put maybe a couple tablespoons of syrup, if that, because, like I said, I'm just like a plain pancake. It's like well, if I make toast. I'm going to have like, usually, I'm going to have two pieces of toast. I'm going to have one is going to have peanut butter on it and one's going to have jelly. That's, if I have French toast, I have one has, a, I usually make three pieces of French toast because I use the Aunt Millie's bread, which is only two points for two slices. So it's three points for three slices. So I'll put one slice, I'll put just a little bit of butter on it. And then on one slice, I'll put a little bit of uh, syrup on it. And then on the third slice, I put a little bit of butter and syrup. Or sometimes I just put a little bit of jelly on it one of the two but not this month because I'm 100% on plan and so I only can get 23 points at least until next Thursday or this Thursday coming up because I used all my points when we went to Frankenmuth which they were, they were well worth it they really were I probably went way over because the pancakes well I look at IHOP I think the pancakes were like 30 points just for the pancakes and I think the sausages were like 12 and then I got a class of chocolate milk which is probably 10 because it's not like the the eight ounces of regular milk two percent milk is uh, six points and so I'm thinking it was at least ten points and then the ice cream with the waffle cone it was a big it was a big waffle cone it was probably about that big with a lot of ice cream they really packed that ice cream in so I know that I probably consumed well I get 23 and then 42 65 I at least did the 65 points, if not more. But you know what? It was a special day, so I have no no qualms about it. And then they came and took the sign down today, which is really somebody could break into my house. I probably wouldn't even know it because we didn't hear them when they put the sign up. And then we had got up this morning, and I was getting ready to go for my walk. I went for my walk about 10 o'clock, and I looked out the door, and there was nobody. The sign was still there. So I called Christy. I said, "You know, the sign's still here. I don't want you guys to get charged extra." And she said, "No, no." She said she's going to pick it up sometime today. And okay. So I went and put my shoes on. I came outside here to turn the pool filter on. I went to the front of the house. The sign was gone. <laughs> they were like little stealth bandits. <laughs> they grabbed that stuff and they were out the door and they were gone. But um, so gonna stay on track the microphone does seem to be working I, I have a lot of you told me that it does seem to work better so I'm glad that worked out thank you once again Carrie it's I'm glad I almost forgot to put it on I started doing my video and I thought wait a minute I got a microphone I can go put that microphone on that's gonna help me out tremendously so anyway 
get kind of hungry. I'm going to go have lunch. This is kind of odd for me eating three meals a day. It really is. But, you know, I don't know that I'm hungry or now that I'm eating three meals or what. I know that my breakfast was pretty hefty with all that fruit. But, you know, fruit doesn't really stay with you. It really doesn't. But, I don't know. So, let's see what I'm going to have for lunch. And then, uh, see if I can figure out this TV. I don't know, Jim, I don't know if I had showed you that earlier or if I'm going to show you now. Because I taped it earlier. I'll show you now and then um, I'll show you my lunch. How's that sound? Does that sound like a plan? Well, that's the plan we're going with. So, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. He's back again today. My bug, Jim. I think he's making a nest under my footstool here. Jim's trying to fix the TV to work outside here so we can watch TV outside. This is the TV that was in the basement. Kids don't go down there anymore, so we might as well bring it out here where we can enjoy it. Okay, for lunch I'm going to have a wrap. I'm going to wrap it a little bit better, but that's what it's going to look like once I wrap it. With some tomatoes, cucumber, oh, I forgot my watermelon in here. Watermelon, and my onion, and an iced tea. So it's a seven point lunch, two points for my Carbmaster um, Extreme Wellness Wrap. wrap. Four, uh, one, four points for an ounce of Swiss cheese and one point for an ounce of ham. And zero for the tomato, the cucumber, the spinach, the onion, the tea, and my watermelon. So I've used nine points so far today. I don't know how to get it to settings. We were hoping I could watch my YouTube channel outside here. But we lost the actual remote for the TV. We're just using the cable remote. So I'm going to look online. Maybe I can buy a, another remote for this TV for the actual. Because it, I think it's capable of doing all of the other channels. It does games and stuff for it. But we'll see. If not, Jim can watch the ball game. Okay, we decided we're going to have barbecue tomorrow, so we're just going to have pancakes and bacon today. So it's uh, five points for a half a cup of the pancake mix, a quarter cup of sugar-free syrup is one point, three points for my Simply Orange juice, and three points for my center cut bacon, 12-point dinner. So I ended up the day with 21 points. I get 23, so I'm two under. Well, that definitely was the weirdest Fourth of July celebration dinner ever, wasn't it? I went to Myers and got the right kind of hamburger to have for tonight, but it just didn't feel like a hamburger. So we had that, plus I stayed two points under my 23 points, and so that worked out even better. I am um, going to watch the fireworks outside in my front yard from the neighbor who spends thousands of dollars, I think, at least $1,000 on fireworks. His fireworks are like you went down to the Detroit River and watched the city of Detroit put their fireworks display on. I don't know how he can afford it, but he puts the best display on ever. I am going to try to film some of it, and if I get it, I will show it tomorrow. Um, once again, Lainey, I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. Forgot your grandson's name, but hey, she is my friend. <laughs> Maybe my fair weather friend. I'm your fair weather friend because I forgot your birthday. But... I didn't, I didn't forget your grandma. I really, truly, truly, truly. Well, I did forget your grandma. But I didn't for, I forgot it was her birthday, but I didn't forget your grandma. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share it if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe. Oh, you know, I was going to tell you this before I end the video. Jim's outside watching TV. Jim has a little bit of a hearing problem, and the TV's a little loud. And my next door neighbor, who's the nicest, nicest, nicest lady, kind of yelled over the fence. She says, oh, my goodness, Jim, you're watching TV outside. We can watch it right along with you. <laughs> or no, we can hear it right along with you. That was what she said. We can hear it right along with you. And Jim says, oh, that's nice. We're watching Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. She says, yeah, I kind of figured that's what we were listening to. So then she went in the house, and I told Jim, I said, she's kind of implying that your TV's too loud. No, no, she's not. And I go, uh, yeah, she is, but she's too nice to tell you. Your TV's too loud. So he did turn it down. <laughs> I can hear it perfectly fine. But anyway, so I'm going to end now. Talk to you guys tomorrow.
Jim, you gotta love them.